Hi, this is Katie. Today's video is going to be a day in the life video. I'm gonna vlog for the next few hours. We're gonna hang out. Um, but today's video is going to be a little bit different because it's going to kind of be a day in the life when Katie's not feeling great mentally. Um, I woke up feeling very low, very anxious, very overwhelmed, like crying, and nothing was going on, you know? Um, I know a lot of you guys struggle with mental health issues um, and that's why I wanna make these videos. I'm probably gonna start making them like once or twice a month, so a little bit more frequently than I used to because I know that this is something that like a lot of us share um, and that we can just, you know, talk about and stuff. Um, and so this morning I woke up super anxious, nothing happened. A lot of the times when people have anxiety disorders or other mental health issues that have anxiety as a symptom, a lot of the times we get anxious for no actual reason besides our brain wanting to be anxious or, or deciding to be anxious or the devil attacking us or whatever you truly believe it is. But it's not that, you know, oh, we have so much work to do today so we're anxious or it's not, oh, we got in a fight with our boyfriend so we're anxious or, oh crap, my check bounced so I'm anxious. You know, like it's not anything that caused it. It's just, this is how our brain is wired and this is just something that happens sometimes. Sometimes it's every day, all day, every day. Sometimes it's once a month, you know. Uh, the last couple weeks, I've been feeling pretty okay, but today I just woke up and just started crying within the hour and I was very overwhelmed, very anxious. And on some days like this, you know, the most that we can do is make sure that we feed ourselves and, uh, you know, watch TV or something. But then there are a lot of days, depending on who you are, you know, and how you know yourself and what's best for you. There are a lot of days where, you know, maybe we can push ourselves to shower. Maybe we can push ourselves to do something that we enjoy, even if we don't enjoy it at that moment, because sometimes anxiety and depression takes away our joy. But maybe we can do something that we might enjoy or we can shower. We can, you know, make a meal with our family. We can go for a walk. We can work. We can you know, go to the couch and watch TV even, you know? It kind of just depends where you're at and what you know is best for you because on some of those days where I feel like I cannot get out of bed, and I have not had one of those in probably a couple months, which is really, really cool, but sometimes when I have those days, and I know that you guys know what I'm talking about, when you're like, I can't get out of bed, I can't get out of bed, sometimes those are the days that it's most important for me to get out of bed. It's most important for me to push myself to do anything, even if it's showering, even if it's going to the living room, even if it's talking to my roommate, even if it's FaceTiming my mom, even if it's, um, you know, answering email or going to the store or something. Sometimes those days where I feel like I can't get out of bed are the days that are most important for me to get out of bed. And I've learned that about myself over the years, you know, but only sometimes. Again, that's where all the learning takes place because some days, it's, it is best for me, or at least it's okay for me to stay in bed. But other days, I have to push myself. But on a day like today, I had to work this morning. Like there was no way around it, I had to work this morning. And a lot of the times that I feel really, really low, working helps me. Again, we're all different. I'm gonna say that a lot, but it's really important. When I repeat myself, it's generally because I think it's important, generally. And sometimes it's just because I repeat myself. But I needed to work and working a lot of the times doing YouTube, you know, I had to uh, record and edit a video today. And a lot of the times that does help when I'm feeling anxious or low or depressed. And I think partially, at least, it's because of a distraction. So I'm distracting myself from the anxiety and it's doing something productive and positive. You know, so work is productive and I really like my job and I like connecting with you guys, so it is a positive thing. Um, and again, sometimes that change in focus, that distraction. You know, you could argue that working is not a distraction, but I mean distraction in terms of switch of focus. So switching your focus from inward, I'm so anxious, I'm so anxious, I'm so dumb, I'm so worthless, whatever those negative thoughts are, switching those to, no, I gotta work. I hear you thoughts, but I don't agree with you. Goodbye, I gotta work. You know, and focusing on something else. And so I worked for, it's what time? It's almost 3.30, so I worked for about six hours and um, I didn't have any other work that I needed to get done today. But even after working, I started to feel a little bit more like, okay, I feel okay. But again, because I know myself and because I want to, I'm gonna take the next couple hours and still just kind of take it easy a little bit, you know, and just do a couple things that I enjoy and, you know, just talk to you guys about them and uh, talk to you guys about just other certain things that might help with my anxiety or my depression because working is really, really one of them. And so the next thing that I did was I took a shower I didn't wash my hair, but that's okay. I put my hair back, I put makeup on, 
put some earrings on that I thought I lost, but I found them. Um, they're like Tory Burch, but I got them at Nordstrom Rack last year, so they were much uh, less expensive. And uh, I got dressed, but I just really have like comfy clothes on. And so for the next, you know, hour or two, I am going to do things that I know are um, either positive, productive, fun, or things that I know, uh, you know, God is leading me to. And, uh, you know, maybe some of you guys enjoy the same things that I do, um, or maybe something that I talk about might be something that you might be interested in. And so one of them, similar to working, is that I love learning. You guys know this, I love learning. I'm a very, very curious person. And I love learning like new little tidbits and information and skills, and that's where Skillshare comes in. You guys know I've talked about Skillshare so many times, and it's because I truly believe that it's a really, really good company and a really good platform. If you have not heard of them, they're an online learning community, and they have tons, like tons of videos in a lot of creative areas, so like photography, writing, editing, stuff like that. And I found, I gotta get my computer, I found this new course, like last week or so and it was so good. Okay, I got my computer. So this new class that I'm enjoying is called Productivity Masterclass by Ali Abdal. And he's a doctor, a YouTuber, like he goes through the whole list of all these credentials that he has. And he basically talks about productivity and he does it in a way that is so engaging and also really easy to grasp, which I really like. And so if you're a curious person, if you wanna learn a new skill, if you're just kind of feeling cooped up a little bit lately, you just wanna try something different, I really do recommend Skillshare. And the first thousand people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership and after that it's only around ten dollars a month so I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video so I'm gonna go watch a little bit more of this Skillshare class and then I'll tell you guys what I do next okay so I just put on um, a different shirt and I put on my favorite um, faux leather leggings that are seven for mankind Seven for All Kind, what is the name of that brand? Seven for Mankind, I think. Um, because I am going to go to one of my favorite restaurants and get dinner. And I'm very, very excited. Um, the restaurant is called Taco Mamacita, and it's Tuesday, so Taco Tuesday. Um, and Taco Mamacita has a sloppy Jose taco. It's like one of my favorite foods I've ever had. It's basically like a sloppy Joe, and it's so good. Um, so, it's another fun thing that I'm gonna do today. Um, and then when I get back home or a little bit later or something, um, I will show you a couple other things um, that I enjoy doing. But I am gonna show you this taco that I'm about to eat because it's delicious. Taco mamacita, taco mamacita, taco mamacita. Hey guys, so I just like ran <laughs> from outside into my house. Um, just went out to eat at one of my favorite restaurants and now I'm gonna do my sticker books. Oh, and taking your vitamins, you know, really important part of self-care. <laughs> Obviously, one of my favorite brands is Ollie because they're gummy vitamins, so they just kind of taste like you're eating candy, but they're good for you. So I have women's multi, I have energy, I have a couple skin and hair, skin, nail ones active immunity, I have a bunch of them. Hey guys, so if you've been watching a lot of my recent videos, you have seen me talk about these, but if not, I recently discovered in maybe like October or something, these sticker books. Uh, they're called like paint by sticker, sticker by letter, whatever, but I just call them sticker books. And essentially, they are kind of, if you take a like paint by number, um, coloring book or like a paint book or color by number, whatever, um, but you mix it with stickers. And so this one is the first one that I finished. This is the Brain Game Sticker by Letter in the Wild. And look, they're just stickers. Um, and underneath the sticker, like it shows here, you know, they might have a letter or a number depending on which one you have. And the stickers like, you know, are in the back of the book, you rip them out, 
and you see what number it is or what letter and you put the sticker down. And then I usually like to get all the mosaic ones. They have ones that look a little bit more like realistic, like a realistic dog or bear or, or whatever, you know, sea creatures or whatever. Um, but I like the mosaic ones. I just think they look so beautiful. So I finished this one already. This one I finished um, like a month or two ago. And I loved this one a lot. This one I really, really loved a lot. And then I also loved this one. I just finished this one. So this is the Brain Game Sticker by Number Animals. And this one is the biggest one I have. That's, I think it came with like 45 or so. And a lot of these come with like 10 or 15. Um, but so these, you know, little mosaics too. Um, and I think one of the coolest ones, oh, I opened right up to it, is this jellyfish. Look how cool that looks. So yeah, and they have, some of them have like clothes or little flower crowns. These bears have little sweaters and stuff. So I just finished this book as well. I'm pretty sure I have more than these four, but these were just the four that were like in the bin. But I think I have like at least two more somewhere. But now I wanna pick another one um, to complete. So I can either do World Landmarks, uh, Dogs, Natural Wonders, or this Anametrics one. See, so this is what they look like when they're not done. So see how like th this one has um, numbers and then the stickers come like this and they're numbered as well. And you just take the sticker off and you put it on there. Um, and uh, some of them are a little bit easier than others. You know, like, so for example, this one is a little bit more geared towards kids. You know, this maybe had 25 or 30 stickers, but then some of them are geared a little bit more towards adults. So they're are more stickers and they're a little bit smaller spaces. Oh, see, like this one is more geared towards adults. I mean, kids can still do it as well, obviously, but these just take longer, a little bit more patience because they're really tiny. You might even need tweezers for some of these little ones. Um, I think I might do this one. I think I'm gonna start this one. Okay, I know this is a pretty bad angle, but my um, big tripod is in the car. So this is gonna have to work for now. I'm gonna do the Animetrics sticker book. These are like really big pictures. So I kind of just right now want to do like a little bit of an easier one. So you see how this one has so many stickers. So that's really good if you know you have more time, you want something to like really hone in on and focus. But sometimes I just want to do one a little bit quicker that's a little bit easier. So I'll probably do this guy. What is this like a wolf maybe? So they have the stickers in the back. I'm just gonna rip this out. Again, I know this angle's really bad. Let me try to get a better angle. Okay, that's a little better. So you pick a sticker, and then the only thing that you have to do that really takes, um, you know, some consideration for a couple seconds is which way to put it. You know, just like a puzzle. So like, which way does it go? You said I wish I had no feelings. I hope you understand. Guys, you know how I said that this is like one of my favorite books? I saw one picture, it's actually a picture on the cover, that's not finished. I had a couple stickers left, so I'm gonna switch to finishing this one. I hope you see we're not meant to be. I'm tired of taking chances just for you to be defensive. But all I do is think about you. I'm tired of jumping fences If you're on the defensive All done! Look how cute! Yay! Okay, so now this book is officially done. Okay, let's do one more craft. For Christmas, my roommate 
got me a couple little like arts and craftsy things. Like he knows I like Spider-Man, so he got me this little like Spider-Man play pack grab and go. Um, he got me just some really, really cute stickers that you can just put on whatever you want. Um, and he got me, I'm really excited to do this. I know it's a couple weeks after Christmas. I don't know why I haven't done this yet because I'm really excited. It's a little, a little build your own car kit. Like look at this cute little car. <laughs> look how cute it is. So maybe I'll do this right now because I think I said earlier, I love doing like crafts with my hands. So even growing up, I like to draw and paint and stuff like that. Um, and I also really liked to build model cars. I don't know if you guys know this about me. Um, I like to build, and I don't, I don't even mean like just this kind, I mean like actual proper model cars. That's something that I really like to do growing up. And so I think that's why he got me this because I mentioned that I like building model cars and so he got me like this cute little one. <laughs> He's so cute. That's also why I really like doing the crocheting. You guys know that. Um, I picked crocheting back up about six months ago, but I've been doing it on and off since I was uh, young probably like a teenager or something but just things that keep my hands occupied are really good for me let's prop you guys right there with my background of we have ollie little oh, boy ollie and butter and i'll put my other boys up there too biscuit and cornbread here you go and uh yeah this is just called build your own car kit i don't even know if there's a brand <laughs> i have no clue and i don't know he probably got this at target because i think he got the other things at target but this is for, um, does it even say what age range? Oh, it says six and up. I'm six and up. Let me know if you guys like doing this kind of stuff too. Um, and he has different eye stickers that you can put on. That's so cute. I'm not gonna put the sad ones. Uh-uh, we're gonna put the happy ones and then maybe use those as eyebrows or something. All right, so it just comes with like a couple pieces. Here, I'll, um, Kind of focus you guys down a little bit. So I have all my other books over there. But let's see. Okay. There's no like paper instructions. It just has them right here. And so I'm just going to follow these. I hope. This is the cutest thing. <laughs> also, I don't know how a six-year-old would do this. <laughs> like, this is mildly, um, not difficult, but like, I, I don't know if a six-year-old could do this without adult supervision. Just FYI. Okay. This is like a little screwdriver it comes with, which is very cute. You guys, look how cute. All right, we'll put the little happy eyes. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That is so cute. So just a couple other things that I might do, just because I'll probably end the video here. I, you know, a couple other things that I might do when I feel like pushing myself is a good idea. You know, I might crochet. I might even crochet and watch TV. Like that's something I like to do anyway. I might just start praying or, you know, even, even talk out or write out what, if anything is bothering me. Because like I said earlier, most of the time I'm anxious, nothing's really bothering me. But if you start talking it out, even if you're just talking to yourself out loud or writing it out, you might figure out something that might be bothering you or something that you could change focus on or change your situation that could help a little bit, you know, and sometimes talking out or writing could help with that kind of stuff. It totally is up to you. It totally depends on you. I'm just trying to share with you some of the stuff that helps me, you know, and so um, working helps me a lot and uh, doing anything that helps me switch my focus because if you're too focused on the pain, you might not see that there is an end to the pain and it might be a temporary end, but it still could be an end, you know? Um, because obviously all of these things, I should have said it earlier, obviously all these things are not cures 
for depression or anxiety, but they're just things that can help you in the moment sometimes. They can help you for the day or for an hour or for five minutes or for 10 seconds. And so um, I just want to share with you some of the things that I enjoy. I love the sticker books. I love building anything with my hands you know, stuff like this. Um, I actually have a couple other arts and crafts um, that maybe I'll show you guys in another video. Um, I love crocheting, you know, talking to friends, eating food that I enjoy and working, and even showering, putting my makeup on and stuff and getting dressed sometimes helps me. So I hope that you guys can find something that helps you lessen your anxiety and lessen your depression a little bit, even if it's just for the moment you know and if you have anything else that you enjoy let me know in the comments so we can all share that together anything that helps with your anxiety or depression i would love to hear um and i know that other people watching would love to hear as well so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed and i just i adore you guys so much seriously i really really do so thank you again for watching and i hope that you guys have a wonderful day i love you jesus loves you and i'll talk to you later bye